Here's a video for a set called the Humka Hamlet. If you've never heard of the company, mm, I'm with you. I have never heard of it either. It's always good discovering new great things that people have never heard of. This is not one of those things. This is a $200 set that I call the King of Pain. It's got a Chinese kind of mm, Blade Runner theme going on, which I think is kind of cool actually. It's got red with maybe the company's logo up on here. It looks almost like a kanji character. This doesn't really do anything. It's got the red screens on it. It's got the cables decent. Um, but we're here for the music and the, the tuning, which I'll maybe lay over right now if I edit this reasonably decently. Graphs can't tell us about the technical abilities of uh, earphone, and that is relative to the quality of the transducer, whether it's a dynamic driver, um, whether it's BAs or ESTs and how they're tuned. Graphs can't tell us that, but graphs can give us lots of info just by themselves. Looking at that again, the, you've, when you have a gain that is that abrupt, the angle, because relative to the mids and the upper mids, that means that there's a lot more emphasis being put on the info here, and it's abruptly done, and it's quite a large gain region and then it's got a plateau and you're putting a lot of emphasis on part of the vocals and making the other part seem almost not there and then on top of that you've got a crater that's like 15 dB at 4k past now I'm all for cuts to tone down on harmonic extensions a little bit but this is way way overboard and Hatsune Miku at the beginning of Big Boy Kill Jill is something that I enjoy when I listen to it or I put up with it as I get to the triple drop and the four string bass guitar the oddest replay that I probably ever heard of it, including all the weird planos, is this set right here. I'm getting part of it, but I'm not getting the end of it. And the part that I'm getting is emphasized over the beginning of that, which is the midsection. So this is like two ways to totally mess up with vocals. Now, you don't listen to vocals. Okay, there's going to be info in there. I can't believe I just said you don't listen to vocals. Who am I talking to then? If you listen to vocals, this isn't really the set for you, and I would call this the king of pain. The bass is not tuned poorly. However, when the treble is so skewed, it's it does what I call steel focus. Everybody knows what that is. Your brain is constantly drawn towards whatever sonic events are occurring in that region because they're so emphasized over everything else to an unnatural way that you, one, are noticing a non-ideal replay or familiar replay, and then two, it's literally kind of very loud to your ear. Part of it. There's another part where it gets to the sibilant areas, and that's not even there, that's totally gone. But that being completely gone and not just simply subdued makes a very, very strange replay. So Big Boy Kill Jill sounds very poor. Um, listening to Dreams by Fleetwood Mac is um, um, Stevie Nicks. Um, I'll not continue. It doesn't sound good. The Moondrop for $20 is a better set than this. Uh, argue with me. Did you, did you buy this? Do you have the chew? Better than this. My Melee is 50 bucks. It sounds better than this. I, I'm sorry, but it's right in front of me. I'm looking at it. The Olina is obviously a better set, and that's half of the price of this. So they priced it wrong, they tuned it wrong, um, and if they had gotten some feedback by people before they released it, they might have had a better outcome. It, it, this could be popular. I haven't actually really checked what the sales are, but I would recommend that you stay back. Vocals are no. Um, every Guitar solos are no. Um, your focus is constantly going to be drawn towards that area. The graph, in fact, indicates that, and it is my experience that that's true. Graphs can sometimes be enough to say, okay, stop, and this is, an, this is one of those. No. King of pain. And I'm out.